Hello, hello. It's out, and I have a guest that's calling me now. Hello. Oh, I was, so my grandma originally said, so, you know, I had to pick up my grandma from the church. She was taking her bus trip thing with her or whatever. But she was originally going to say 5.30, so I was like, okay, I'll be back at like 6, and that shouldn't be so bad. And then and what now, did 5.30 become? Uh, 6. Oh. So now that's why I'm starting at 6.30 instead. <laughs> so I'm streaming too. You do Smash every Friday, typically. Yeah. Starting so, later than usual today, and... I'm gonna start... Yeah. We added a game today, because I haven't got the chance to stream it yet. You've played this once on Wednesday, right? Yeah, and I've been playing it a lot off-stream. I didn't realize we were live already. Whoopsie doodle. Oh. Oh, am I live on my end? You're... Oh. Yeah, hold on. I need to just set everything up for me. So you can just start getting the lobby ready and everything, and what's good and everything. Okay, well, I've never launched, so I will, uh, I'll do that. Actually, yeah. need to make get yourself sure a claim. That... You know what you should do? Change the controls. Okay. Uh, well, I'd heard you couldn't do that in this game. Can you, you do it in the Switch version? You can, but yeah, uh, you can do it, but you can't. Like, there are two buttons that you cannot change: the D-pad and the right analog stick slash C stick. I glanced at the Steam reviews, and people were complaining about the controls not being customizable enough. Nickelodeon hmm. All Star Brawl. Oh, people actually wanted it to be just like Smash. Like, why can't I put the light and heavy hat on the same button? I ended up doing a thing where, uh, uh, it was like, uh, excuse me, um, where I had everything, like, set up for the heavy attacks that were close to the A button and stuff, where the was light attacks and stuff like that. Um, it's not great, at least, it's not great for gaming. Loud, thank you for telling me, Darian. I have this said because I have someone else on voice that set up a little bit different than Smash, so it creates a big hit if they have set it. Also, I'm pretty sure the delay is right because Smash has a little bit of delay in the game. Hmm. Oh, that's absurdly loud. Yeah, it is very, very loud the first time you start it up. So the you have to go into any character selection screen in order to change your controls. You can't do it from the uh, you can't do it from the menu. Yeah. Okay. Now I was uh, messing with audio stuff. I had to turn this down to minus forty decibels. Yep. Excuse me. So I already have my mains uh, picked out. I know who I want to play. Uh, but uh, I'll... Uh... So... <laughs> I feel like this... Uh, something that was implied already since we we're planning on playing together, but you do have the Switch version, yeah. Sorry, what? I, I figured this was implied since we were planning on playing together, but you do have the Switch version now, right? Uh, yeah. I yeah. was planning on getting the PC version until I found out just before launch there was no crossplay. Yeah. And then everyone kind of bought different versions and I had to just get whatever my friends were getting, so. And, yep, that's ultimately why I decided to get the Switch version, because my two other friends were like, uh, Ray and Ethan, they were like, oh, we just got the Switch version. And for what it's worth, it plays fine. It, it like, offline, there's, like, no issues, but there's frame rate issues with certain stages if you go online. It's also lack of roll rollback without outside that's of 1v1s, you... correct? Yeah, but to be honest, that you really only care about that in a 1v1 for the most part. Okay, so I want to go into battle, I want to go into, I don't know, whatever. Stop.
talk, I guess. Why is it asking me my controller now? Okay. Even though I was navigating menus. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will not be animated on my stream because I didn't make the time to make you one with your mouth open. Okay, I don't expect to be okay. animated. You usually, well, now what I've been doing is I've been um, having my friends do this little bounce thing where their mouth opens when like they little, talk. Little lip flap thing that connects to. Yeah, this. it's just a PNG that like changes slightly. It's nice. Okay, so these are some unusual controls. How do I want to do this? You can have it pretty much be exactly like Smash, but change the second jump button to heavy and change one of your shield buttons to strafe, and you'll be golden. Like, I did, yeah, I gotta figure out which jump button I want to sacrifice. Hmm. For me, I sacrificed uh, Y because I barely ever used it and kept uh, and kept X. Grab is a macro. Oh boy, Smash players love macros. Yeah, I don't know why it's, uh, but it's nice that they tell you it's a macro, but I don't know why it's a macro. Uh, so what, what controller do you use for this? I'm using GameCube. It turns out GameCube doesn't have enough buttons for everything, so I can't taunt. Yeah, I'm just noticing rebind. that. I can't rebind the D-pad or the C-stick. Well, I guess we're not going to see these wonderful taunts today. Darn. Yeah. So can I set, like, a name for myself? Is that, like, in Smash? No, it seems to be linked to the player number. So it'll save in every time you turn the game off, but, like, since you're player one anyway, I don't really think it matters. Oh, that sounds awful for offline. It does. Um, they might... They have said that they are planning on, like, you know, doing bug fixes and updates, but, you know, it's a budget issue and stuff. Boy, I hope they really update it. That's uh, another thing that would kill the competitive offline scene, which kind of seems to be floundering from day one. Ugh. Sports. Oh, there's like mini-games. I, why, why do I have to set my controller every single time? You, I enter a you mode. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's been the same me. Hmm. Uh, online. Competitive play. Quick play. Oh, online uh, models. so... If you so you have a default icon for your um, uh, you have a default icon for your online profile. It's Korra, but if you do a character's arcade mode, you unlock that character. Oh. Yeah, you mentioned that you thankfully start with all of the characters immediately. I didn't have to unlock anything yeah. before first launch. No tutorials or anything. But you can unlock online tag stuff. Okie dokie. We are live on my end, too. No intro screen this time. We're just gonna. What's the difference to. to it. So, have you created a lobby in this before? Yes. So, I want to make the um, public. What does competitive diff matter? Uh, competitive and. Uh, so, there's no items regardless. And the difference between competitive and uh, casual is the stages you could choose. Okay. Oh, I'm not. Hold on. Should we do all stages? This is, I don't know, first time. It playing? doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to be honest. But yeah, there's one stage that I actually play on that's not in the competitive rule set. Uh, hold on. Whoops! I have to turn off my stream because something's messing up with my encoder settings. I'll fix that in a second. The nice thing about these lobbies is that you can have multiple matches going on at the same time. Oh, that is very nice compared to Smash. Critical KOs. You know I don't really know is? what that means. I, I don't know what that means, but it's on by default. It's off by default for me. Oh, well, I didn't touch it, whatever setting it was. Huh. So I guess I'll create a match. Uh, Darian, things sound good now?
free for all stock. Oh no, it's, it's a two player free for all. That's kind of misleading. Hmm. So I, I set it to public. Are you able to join because we're on each other's friends list? Uh, it's very weird how it seems to be working, but what you would have to do is invite me through... Get this, the Switch has an invite system. I didn't know that either. Okay, so there's not... There's not, like, an arena ID that we can use to play with viewers. There is, but, like, it didn't work when I tried it. I don't really know what decides how it works. Lobby option. Max players, additional rules. Lobby, lobby. Oh, you can change the privacy in the middle of the lobby. I wonder what the sports are. It's like Smash Get Ball. Oh, invite friend. There it is. Yeah, but give me a minute. I'm still setting things up. If you want to mess around with uh, offline for a second first. Saucy laments that her favorite Ninja Turtle is not on the default roster. Mm. will give me a chance to test the uh, test the delay yeah every time I enter a mode it asks me to confirm my controller with L and R That's interesting. That didn't. That doesn't happen to me. Maybe it's because mine's wired. Mine's wired. Oh, then I don't know. Bam. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm multitasking right now. Audience. Still very loud. I have it set to ten percent in the master volume, it's just blasting. Good now. Yes, we are. Good. Back to Twitter. We go. Ooh. It's kind of hard to tell if everything's synced up because there's so little sound effects. Uh huh. Good. We're live on all platforms. Thank goodness. I was worried for a second because. Twitch, you know, had a big oopsie whoopsie earlier this week. Oh yeah, there was the, uh, go ahead and date this, there was a big password leak. Or a hack. Yeah. So, uh, like, Reach Stream was like, whoa! We gotta make you do something first. All right, so um, I'll host a lobby. Okay. Uh, yeah, things seem fine on my end. I'm gonna go back out and join you. Okay, so host an online lobby, and then new lobby. Uh, I'll make it private, and we'll set competitive to off. Yes, Dragonite, I am comp uh, combining the two today because of a lack of time. So I invite Zelrog. Here you go. Oh, wait. 
I, I gotta get my non-GameCube controller to activate the Switch menu to now join your game. Yes. Uh, it's funny. All you have to do is just press the home menu, and then it, like, automatically is, like, shoop, invite. What? Probably want to keep that next to you. <laughs> grab my pro con that will be my dedicated home button and nothing else yep sounds about right uh so who have you played this with thus far uh ethan ray alti uh one other guy on my uh network error it's wait it says no, you're I'm here. here you're here what do you mean network error I don't know. So, I've started a lobby, and you would just select the lobby and then join from that. Your... Ooh, I see you changed your avatar to a different Korra avatar. Oh, I had, I, I, I thought, I didn't see a default one for me. I just went it's into just, the menu and I picked one. It's just a picture of Korra. Okay. I don't know why Korra is the default and, like, not Spongebob or something, but hey, whatever. Double check, yeah, my buttons are all the same. Alright. Alright, so who do you want to try first? Uh I I just went to Reptar. Okay, Reptar. Uh I will not play my mains just yet. Uh I'll start with Zim, because I don't really play him that much. I'm curious. And Go on. Stages that uh we like to that I've liked to play on so far and that uh Jellyfish Fields, Harmonic Convergence. Um, Urken Armada Invasion, uh, and Sewer Slam. I'm Sewer Slam is kind of like, um, Sewer Slam is kind of like Dreamland in which the only hazard is that you just get pushed, but otherwise it's mostly okay. Um, Rooftop Rumble would be great, however it has framework issues online. Like, the game plays just fine. But instead of going at like 60, you're at 30, and it's really noticeable. I'm in sampler mode. I just like to try all the stages. You want to try almost? Okay. Well, we'll skip the ones with. Then we'll we'll play every stage, but we'll skip the ones with frame rate issues. So do Unless we both really have to pick try. one? How does this work? We we both pick a stage, and then it randomly selects between the two of us who gets it. Okay. Uh, I'll pick yeah. whatever you say then. Well, we're just going to start at the beginning, so pick Jellyfish Fields. Alright, I think technical stuff has worked out. I will... I can now focus on game. The only thing I noticed earlier was that I kept trying to directional air dodge, and that's not a thing in this game. It is. It is? Oh, that's right, there's like wave dashing. Why couldn't I do it with Spongebob? That's weird. Everybody has a great air dash. It's almost exactly the same across oh, all the characters. I was trying to roll on the ground, and that's not in this game. No, you can't roll. How? That's your block. So how do you roll if you, not shield move? You cannot roll at all. Okay, you can't roll. Unless you're on a ledge, then you can roll back on stage. Weird. All right. You want to get used to your controls? Uh, I, I'm as used to them as I'm going to be, I think. Okay. Reptar is deceptively fast. It's kind of like Slap City in that even heavy characters are strong. I've not played Slap City. Uh, I was curious about the characters that people have compared to their, you know, their Smash variants! <laughs> or the... Um. the Korra, Korra gets has compared, been compared, Korra to, gets Ganon. compared to Ganondorf, so you might want to try her. Yeah, Korra and uh, Reptar. Don't forget, everybody has cargo, and you can grab in the air. Oh, yeah. Um, Everybody has strong spikes, and it's pretty much any downward uh, angling attack will do it. And I changed the rule. The default rule set is like three stocks, but I changed it to four because this game is actually pretty fast. 
Got that stall and fall. He's got two. He's got two? His light his down light isn't uh No, his up special is a stall and fall. Oh, well, that doesn't count. It goes up first. Well, oh, that's true. That's like calling DD's like, up special a stall and fall. It's fat Yoshi. I keep using not like none of my heavy attacks just because the A button is the is the smash attack you, button. It doesn't take long to get used to it for what it's worth. I got used to it in like an hour. I am completely just mashing at the moment. Yeah. What are combos? Oh, that worked. <laughs> All right, combos are combos are actually really free form because hit stun is fairly long. Yeah, there we go. And uh, a lot of recoveries uh, aren't as free as like in Smash lately. Yeah. Um, you mean I can't go to the bottom far blast zone and make it back easily every time? Not unless you're Korra or Mikey. Uh, if I hit rematch, do we get to change characters? No, rematch makes us the same characters on the same stages we chose. Oh, okay. So what happens is we have to press B, then I start a new match, and then you join that. It's a little cumbersome, but easy to get used to. Man, this game has a real learning curve for the menus. <laughs> All right, Flying Dutchman ship, let's go. I guess I'll go to Korra. Uh, oh, how do you change? Are, are there Ray alts? Says that, Ray says that Reptar is the most Zelrog character. There are no alts. Everybody has the exact same color regardless. Huh. Yeah, okay. I assume that's for licensing purposes or something. Because in the data for the game, they found alternate costumes. Ah, even more limiting than uh, the Paper Mar Nintendo on Paper Mario. <laughs> so every character has their own stage, which is pretty nice. Is Powdered uh, Toast Man Captain Falcon? He's got a Captain Falcon jab, and he's got a shine, so he's a little, he's got a little hype. Oh, the stage has a wall. Yeah. It's, so it just goes up? What's her up recovery? Is that That's it? That's it. Yeah, hold it to make it go farther. It goes really high. Ah, oh, okay. Diddy jetpack. But yeah. straight up. He do have that... Oh, that's like a Smash 64 Falcon jab. Yeah. But even with realistic characters like Korra, the animations are so silly looking sometimes. She just, she slide. She got the Ganon down B, kind of. Kind of. Do you ever watch any Ren and Stimpy? Huh? You ever watch any Ren, Ren and Stimpy? I watch a lot more of it since this game uh, got revealed because I'm I main them now. Oh yeah. Um, his yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, see, I, I, I haven't really seen any of, I don't really want to watch the adult party cartoon, but as uh, a fan of animation, what? I'm not familiar. Oh, in 2003, Spike TV made Oops. a adult version of Ren and Stimpy. It was not received well. Ah. For the... a test for the, so for a test for the show, they had him produce six episodes being John Kay, the creator of the show. Uh, the, the show got through three before it was canceled. 
I'd heard the last few seasons of the original show. Wasn't John Kay, like, booted from the series before those? He was, because essentially Nickelodeon was like, you take forever to produce content. We need you to make things faster and stay in budget. And he says, and he said, they'll take as long as they take and they'll cost as much as they cost. And they fired him on the spot. I don't know what he thought would happen, but yeah. And I heard those seasons weren't particularly well received either. Uh, no. I mean, the writing was about on par, but obviously the animation wasn't the same. It's kind of a strange dichotomy where it didn't look as good, but the animators also weren't killing themselves. Always good. You know? I should point out I have no idea what I'm doing. Still just mashing. Yeah. I'm having a lot of trouble connecting what's happening on screen to, uh... The buttons I'm Your pressing. Movements. It doesn't have those impact hits like Smash does. It's just I, I would just need to like study a single character and really learn the moves. Yeah, it's a lot to get used to, I guess. Oh, what a hit. Uh, the most for me, the most important thing to to like keep in mind and learn or unlearn rather was strong moves, which didn't take that long. But once you once you understand that you can chain them together quite easily, everything else just comes naturally. Wow, well, someone is telling me that Powdered Toast Man has a RNG neutral air? He does, watch, watch, watch. He just does a random pose? It goes in a random direction. They said that this, this move is an integer between 0 and 360. Boy, people do love that random. But he also has a shine. Does it like reflect? No, it's no, it's just it's just the hitbox part. Which is why pe people, I, I guess people mostly just compare him to Falcon because of his physique. He doesn't actually play much like Falcon. The way he acts, they're both very flamboyant. Yeah. But has Captain Falcon ever saved the Pope? Oh, get, 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 get stop. <laughs> I have not grabbed a single time yet. Come here, muscle man. Uh, the, I can't drop the oh. platforms. Yes, you press down and jump. Oh, okay, that's how that works. It's great, because then you can't accidentally do it while trying to do a down tilt. Which is ironic, because the whole point of the platform mechanics in ult was to make down tilting on platforms easier. Yeah. <laughs> I, f I felt the Bowser while playing Reptar. I can't say I'm feeling very Ganon with Korra. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, hacking is a lot more important because there's a lot of characters whose jabs basically send you directly into the floor. Is that just pressing the shield button on contact? Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's the same thing. And you can angle it so you can roll out of a tech. I guess I, I'm obligated to try Nigel at least once. They do not reference the hand thing anywhere in the game. <laughs> I'll do this with my hands. <laughs> Why wasn't it a taunt? It would have been a perfect taunt. I know! his. I don't know what his taunt is. I think it's like drinking tea or something. If only we had enough buttons to find out. <laughs> I still can't believe Jimmy and Timmy aren't in this. Yeah, I don't know, but I like the variety. It's like Crash and Spyro not being in PlayStation All-Stars all over maybe again. It's, maybe they're not retro enough to be considered retro characters and not new enough to be in the public eye. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I don't know, but then again, the, night, the, the Wild Thornberries came out afterwards, didn't it? Rip. Yeah. You can stand here. 
But his B is the... Oh, he's got that weird slide, that's right. Yeah. The dolphin slide. It's essentially a dodge. And there's your rest. I remember so little of Cat Dog. Uh, I mean, I remember. I never really it. watched it growing up. I just don't remember any of the like jokes or anything. Yeah, I mean, usually the jokes was like, the jokes were just dog is doing dog things, right? So he's an idiot. He's happy all the time, generally satisfied. While Cat is like he, <laughs> conniving. He wants money. That ah! sort of thing. Okay, I survived somehow. What is? What am I doing? I'm like flopping around like chic. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to egg directional air dodge, and just, it's just not happening, and I don't understand why. Wave dashing is so easy in this game, by the way, because you don't- you only have to hold the, um, the joystick in a certain direction. And just mash. Then you just mash, jump, and shield, and it should be fine. I don't know any of the combos, so I just I get single hits. And that's Nobody all I can does. Hope the, for. Ga the game only came out a few days ago. Ah! I got a single stock. <laughs> you know the Mickey meta. What's the Mickey meta, Ray? Yeah, Glove World is the worst stage. Everybody agrees. I, I I can see it. But to be honest, if that if, to be honest, since that's about as gimmicky as it gets, that's not that bad. I wouldn't have minded it as much if I wasn't still like fighting and learning the controls. Select your brawler. Uh. Oh, the DMCA. Okay. Can you guess who I picked? Oh, you can see who I picked. I can see who you picked. <laughs> Even if you pick random, it just selects a character on the menu for you. You can't have a random character each match, unfortunately. I, wa I wanted you to guess wrong so that I could say, No, it's Patrick. <laughs> well, that's one of his moves. It's a da strong down air, right? That's his, that is his neutral strong. Do you get to play Kingdom Hearts music? Sure, Dragonite, but you're not going to be able to hear any of it until I get to Smash. I have to do the audio stuff all over again when we do Smash, because it's going to be so different. What's the what's the command grab? Side B, right? Um, that's his down B. Oh. Also, his up special is a command grab. Okay. So he's the Ganon. I guess so. But that was a side B. Are they all command grabs? Oh, okay, that's his neutral B. There is no side B. All right. So what's his down B? It's also a grab, oh, except okay. it's like a Ganon side here. I'll let you do it to me this way. Oh, that's what's. That's right. That's the Bowser side one. Yep. So he's a grappler, and like the most literal sense. Hey, Appa. You can see Momo in there. Outstanding performance. Ah! Whoops. That wasn't the down that wasn't the down special. That was the down air. For that was the down aerial strong. It's I I'm, I'm gonna need a faster way to say that. The strong dare, the light dare, that works, right? Dare to believe you can survive. Oh, you mirror. Wait, can he not use his specials in the air? I got. Oh, That's I'm hitting. Okay. 
So I'm, <laughs> I, in Smash, I have my Y button also set to special so that I can do a, like a quick jump air with Ganondorf. Ah, uh, yeah, no. And I keep hitting that, and I keep heavy. I keep hit a uh, heavy attack attacking. Wow, she's strong. <laughs> yeah. Just lifts him like it's nothing. To be fair, that's everybody. One-handed, even. Uh, you do, apparently you do slow down based on how heavy your opponent is. Like, I'm not moving very slow because Patrick's heavy. Hey. Hey. Nobody calls me Tubby. Oh, sure, you don't know the combos. You just know how to keep <laughs> me on the ground forever. Well, see, that's the thing. They're, they're, like, the combos are super freeform. You can just do anything as long as it'll hit. Well, I don't know what'll hit. <laughs> Fair. Man, I could sure use a projectile right now. Oh, wait, those aren't in this game. They are. I, you, uh, that was a joke, because they're so bad and useless. No, they actually are pretty good. It's are not they? that... It's not, it depends on the projectile, because... Uh, because every projectile runs the risk of being reflected, obviously, but you can reflect it back. Which is and why I've grab heard it. that they're just not good to use at all. It also depends on the projectile itself. I tend to use lo uh, Ren and Stimpy's log a lot because log bounces, making it difficult to uh, predict. <laughs> See. I was, when Ray was playing April, I was tough, and I'm like, hey, these camera attacks shouldn't do anything. She can't see. They interrupt her sonar. That's how she sees, you know. She is, uses ultrasonic right, waves. That's echolocation. She screams all the time. Oh, yeah. So it is worth noting that you can only reflect projectiles with strong attacks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... By the way, for reference, I'm old as shit, and I know all of these shows except for Loud House. That's the only one I've never watched. I haven't watched the Loud House either. Um, it's pretty recent. I mean, like, I'm sure you could figure out the general setup. It's just, like, slice of life type thing where it's a boy who lives in a family where he's got ten sisters. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. There we go. Loud House is pretty mediocre, Dragonite says. I don't know, I haven't watched it, but I know it's like the new Fairly Odd Parents and that it's like now it's the number two on the network. Yeah. Number one, forever being SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yeah. As they continue to produce more spin offs now that Steven Hillenburg is gone. Well, he was. Supposedly, he was involved with Camp Coral, at least. Oh, was he? Yeah. All right. All right. Now for Omashu. This stage isn't great. It's a little too big. Wait, are we in different lobbies? Yes, we are. That's okay. Now I'm in yours. Okay. That was weird. So it would have just had me just waiting for someone to for join in that case. Yeah. Uh, so I main Toph as well. She's my secondary. So a couple of hints is that her aerials aren't really great, as you might expect. She's really great on the ground, and her strongs are super good. Okay. Can I punch the statue? Should she should be able to launch it at people? No, she can't do that. Well, you know you can do is uh, create a platform, jump in the air, and use your down special. Ah, oh, okay. I can Steve. And now you can, and then you can use your ground moves in the air. So what's the neutral be? Is just throw rock? Uh, yeah. You charge up a rock and then throw it. Ah, oh, okay. Ow! Good job. Don't forget the platform. Yeah, I, I did forget. 
You do have to land on the stage before you can spawn another one, though. They didn't make that clear in the reveal trailer. They said once per airtime, but you can't, like, jump off the platform and just keep creating more. I don't like this stage. Well, no, we're probably not going to be playing on this one very much. <laughs> Was she spin? Still trying to roll. There's your Ganon. <laughs> you can still teabag. Open little kid. Oof. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. God, I roll so much in Smash, I can't unlearn it. Yeah. with a toff air that should be worth two stocks <laughs> another thing that's happening is when I grab I keep mashing the button to try to pummel uh yeah there's no pummel so mash and grab is the meta I've learned believe I tried to parry the mine the cart. You can't do that. Yeah. I tried it again. Oh, Ray says you can wall jump. I didn't know that. I didn't know any characters had wall jumps. Alright, I'm gonna break out my main for this one. Harmonic Convergence. April can. Oh, great, because April needed a better recovery. <laughs> oh, weird character choice. We got two Ninja Turtles and April. Well, we're getting Shredder according to the data mine. Oh, so there's Probably DLC just... planned. Uh, well, apparently the next two characters, Shredder and Garfield, were supposed to be in the base game, but were uh, cancelled or, like, not cancelled, like, delayed because of the release window. Does his Do his gloves have fingernails? Yes, they do. Okay. 
It's Have like, you watched like, Ren and Stimpy? Uh, not much. I'm oh, aware okay. of it. Even as a kid, it wasn't really my thing. What are her specials? Lasso. Lasso. Oh, that, that, yeah, the extendo boots, and you can redirect, if you press it again while you're in the air, you can redirect it to a different direction. Okay, so what do the extendo boots do? Just damage? They just go up and, they just, yeah, they just do damage and launch upwards. So I guess that's a command grab. Yeah. And I don't remember this episode of Korra. I gotta be honest. Really? You remember that it was Korra, at least. No, I mean the part where Sandy Cheeks and Ren and Stimpy fought oh, during Harmonic Convergence. Oh, yeah. Must have been in the background. It was there. Perfect. Wow. That's all I really need is hard hits and a command grab. So what if I told you I mained another heavyweight that has a bad recovery? Eh? Is that Ren and Stimpy? Yes. And Surprising the number of heavyweights also... in this game. Uh, yeah, and usually it's not characters you would think are heavyweights, too. Tried Ang yet? Cannon fight. Yeah, why not? At uh, the Loud House the residence. Loud house. Yeah. Weird crossover. It's only weird because we haven't seen it before. We grew up with Smash. If it was happening now, that would be extremely weird, wouldn't it? What the Avatar in the Loud House? No, I mean, like, if it if, if like Smash was made now, a lot of those crossovers would seem extremely weird. Like, yeah, okay, Mario's in the in the Federation ship on uh, above Talon Four. Oh, Mac from Foster's home is in the window. I see. Yeah, but he he has, he has a twirl. He can spin. Glider. What's his down? Oh, the, the air scooter. Yeah. Does he have other elements, or is he he only air He's bends? pretty much strictly air. It's season one, Aang. Ah. Does that make sense? Separates from him from Korra a little bit. Oh, walk-off. Ah! 
Yeah, you wouldn't think it's a walk-off because of the fence, but it is. I gotta know before I accidentally do a stall and fall. Well, at least on this stage, it doesn't matter. Finally! <laughs> I just gotta do that three more times. This is like, uh, kinda like Onet. It's funny you say that because they compare uh, Lincoln to Ness. Oh, this platform functions strangely with that move. Come on! So when can we expect the uh, Disney equivalent? Don't know. Can have uh, Phineas good, and though. Ferb. Can have Star Versus. <laughs> would it be Disney? It pro would it be Disney Channel? I can't imagine it being like Disney Films. Can yes, you imagine Star Cinderella no. hands? Yeah, I'm talking about like Disney Channel. Yeah, They're... I know, but I'm thinking, now I'm imagining the princesses trying to throw hands, <laughs> and how difficult that would be for the developers to be like, we don't want to. Disney being like, we don't want to see them do X, Y, and Z, and then it's like, it's a fighting game. Remember when we almost got uh, Peach in Punch-Out? Yes. You would main Stitch free? Yeah, Stitch does seem like a character you'd like. He had a Disney Channel show, I guess he could be eligible, conceivably. So we, oh, that's a good point, actually. I didn't consider a lot of Disney Channel shows feature their movie characters. Not a lot of them. Well, so, some of them. Uh, Kim Possible? Yeah, no, but I'm thinking mostly, like, the big ones of, like, the Disney Afternoon. Again, there were a few, but not... less than half. There was the Emperor's New School, there was the Hercules cartoon. The Little Mermaid. There was a Little Mer Oh, there was a Little Mermaid cartoon, wasn't there? There was a very, very bad Cartoon Network Smash clone. Yes, and I streamed that. Oh, it's did awful. You? Ja I, I own it. Jack and I bought it. We never streamed it. Really? I bought it from you. Oh, that's... that's Okay, there you go. <laughs> so you don't own it anymore, do I you? I owned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit rematch by mistake. Wait, how do I go right. back? You can just press B. Okay. Select your pointer. Uh... Okay, you're, you're Blink. The fight that we probably should have had on the previous stage. What is the Royal Wood Cemetery? I oh, guess... that one has frame rate issues. Oh, okay, I wouldn't so recommend it. So does Rooftop Rumble, so we're going right to Sewer Slam. It's unfortunate. There's like three stages that have frame rate issues. Uh, not right now, Ice Shard. Uh, I'm trying to get him acquainted with the controls. Uh, Sewer Slam? Yeah, Sewer Slam. And welcome we to like, the jam. I, I like playing on this one. Uh, it's just the the push thing might be a little bit of a deal breaker for some people. I'm sure there's been a Loud House episode where they went into the sewers for some reason. Every cartoon's got to have a sewer episode. Every video game needs a sewer level. It's a, oh, it's a good thing we got the Ninja Turtles. Okay, so... So Lucy's ah. gimmick is that she... Uh, that's not Lucy, right? No, it is Lucy. Her uh, gimmick is she has the vampire bite, and she switches between her ghost form and her vampire form. Wow, You're I don't know anything about the Loud House. Well, that's not a thing in the show. They made up, like, all of her moves for the game. In the show, she's just a goth girl. Okay. So, like, use your vampire bite. Now you're in vampire form. Okay. And what Wait, does that do? You, you were. Hold on. Do it again. What is, tell me what it does. 
Well, I don't. It changes now. You're in vampire form. The red changes my so, attacks. It changes your special moves. Okay. Well, I still bit. Yeah. Down special, I can just teleport. Yeah. But if you use, if you're in vampire form, you come out of a coffin. Oh. I mean, that's a much stronger move. You just got to remember not to bite unless you're sure it's going to hit, because then you'll go back to ghost form. Is that her default? Yes. And you mentioned uh, Blinken is comparable to Link because of projectiles no, and items. Ness. Oh, Ness. For one very important reason. The dangle. The dangle. Well, the teleport reminds me of Zelda. Not really anything else about her. Yeah. There's certain. See, I, I think making a one-one comparison isn't really helpful because there's no c copies. No. They all have elements that are reminiscent. But yeah, uh, Lincoln does have kind of like a uh, a little bit of everything in his kit, like kind of a kind of like just a little tiny bit of everything in his kit. Her side light? No, her side heavy. Oh, that was her dash attack. It's like a teleport. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I'm fine. I would have, do you know which version uh, Goji ended up getting? Uh, I think he ended up getting the PC version. Yeah. But I don't know for sure. He doesn't come on the stream that often anymore. That's true. I can't wait for them to uh, announce crossplay, thereby invalidating my invalidating my Switch purchase at a point that is too late for me to refund it. Yeah. I mean, if they fix the frame rate issues online for those three stages, then by all means, like all versions will be pretty much identical. Because it's not like this is a Nintendo server issue, you know? And how many free-for-alls are we really going to be playing? It is uh, The one thing I do like about the Switch version is that it supports GameCube. Mostly. Mostly. Stop that. <laughs> She get like a she gets like a raven hood. Yeah, for that move only though. We shuffling. We're doing the Lucy slide. Stay down! <laughs> I, li I like how the sewer has an exit sign. Yeah. I mean, somebody, you, if you're working on it, you need to know how to get out. God, it has to spike, too. <laughs> <laughs> It is Ness. It's all the terror of Ness that I remember. Compressed into a single move. <laughs> Select your pointer. Where are we now? Uh, oh yeah, the Technodrum. So I'll try them. Rematch! <laughs> yeah, but it's the other way around. Jab block him? Oh, I plan to. 
All right, so what are their specials? They log. have the log, the history eraser button, and Stimpy's first fart. It, is that what down B is? You hit, I hit you. So it's a counter. And then you unleash it by pressing down B twice. Oh, okay. It's yeah. weird combination. It's like Joker's down B, but with Wario's waft. Yeah, but it's bigger than Wario's waft. What's this up, uh, up special? The history eraser button. That's a pretty big hitbox on it. Uh, on the, unfortunately, it's very short and it kind of sucks as a recovery move. So a uh, cannon jump kick. Dang it. That's the down air? It doesn't go down at all. So, one thing that I should probably notice is that if you get sent into tumble, you can't do anything unless you jump or attack first. Mm. But after you jump, you can jump, uh, you can jump, air dodge upward and still use your recovery move. Interesting. I, I basically stopped air dodging completely. Dang it, I missed. Oh, I missed. Got a too excited there. Everything. There's everybody's down attacks pretty much always spike. It's kind of what you would expect to use them for. Yeah, but all the spikes are really strong. I can see that. Even the even the yo-yo. Yeah. Stop that. Stimpy, do you want to tell me why we are fighting a squirrel? Okay, here it comes. I knew it was coming! <laughs> Is pineappling a thing in this game? It can be, but it's, uh, it's usually character dependent. More so than stage dependent. Rip. Oh, like, I got one Nigel, Thor Nigel Thornberry and Powdered Toast Man get it the worst due to the fact that, um... Uh, Nigel's doesn't go very high, and Powdered Toast Man goes at a fixed angle. Well, obviously, this is just a ma an anti-Stimpy matchup. That's what we're learning today. <laughs> Clearly, it's not me. Alright, what's happening? I'm just, there's nothing I can do. I can't grab a ledge in this situation. Yeah, this stage isn't great for that reason. Like, it's almost okay, but the fact that you can't grab the ledges on the side is really annoying. Oh, he's crying. Uh, yeah, but it's Ren, and I don't care. <laughs> and <laughs> there was an episode where Stimpy was getting more fan mail than Ren, so Ren tried to kill him. Oh, as one does. So, yeah, I mean... These hands 
uphold the fate of millions. And then he tries to choke him. Well, since we were talking about him, I guess I should try Powder Toast, man. Uh, sure, that works, since the next stage is a Ren and Stimpy stage. Am I not in your lobby again? You must not be. You sick little monkey! A little more Stewie Griffin, to be honest. Yeah. I can never get that timbre. I'm impressed that Billy West could do it, because it's very much unlike his normal voice, and he was doing it after John K got fired. The Stim- uh, Ren? Ren, yeah. He ended up voicing Ren and Stimpy uh, after John K left. I found out that they, um... They did a Simpsons bit once, which was like a Ren and Stimpy cartoon they were watching on TV. Oh, yeah? And, uh, they actually got Ren and Stimpy animators to, like, do it. Which is pretty funny. I know... What What's the animator's name? Paul K? John K. Yeah. The creator? Uh, yeah. He did a Weird Al music video as well. The Close But No Cigar. <laughs> wow, I didn't get to do anything! <laughs> well, we're on Poke Float, so what do you expect? Stimpy! Okay, what's his what's his neutral be? Let me at least uh, get the specials. Charge it up, and you unleashed uh, highly corrosive croutons. I see. His down special is a shine, and his up special you've already used. I, ah! <laughs> what was that about pineappling? <laughs> I said, remember, it happens the most on Powdered Toast, man. So, uh, not the best stage, this one. No, this was like, people don't like this one. After, I mean, it's, to be fair, it's less disruptive than Glove World, but it's still not great. <laughs> <laughs> I like the music, though. It's my favorite music in the game. I actually have no audio. I can't have it while, uh, I have someone on voice. Ow. Is this a canonical fight? Did this ever uh, happen in an episode? No, this didn't happen. They never fought Powdered Toast, man. I mean, I guess the closest thing was that they did meet. They did the, where Powdered Toast, man, like, they were like, looks like you boys have run out of powder for your toast. And he, like, and he takes off the front piece of toast and scrapes a whole bunch of it off. And he's like, sorry, fellas, I almost forgot. And then he farts all over the toast, and then it tastes real good. Okay. That sounds like Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. When do we get Winslow from Cat Dog? Rin Winslow's in the background of Cat Dog stage. Ah. Oh. So he's de deconfirmed. The greaser dogs are more likely. Man, I can't believe everyone keeps making up their own rules for who can and can't be a Nick game. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Well, they found a list of potential characters, um... I don't so want to you know hear how, about like, leaks or data mines. Uh, well, I'm saying they just found one. Like, you know how, like, they do a, um... A bunch of extra just-in-case voice lines the announcer records? Oh, yeah. They, they found one that lists, like, a, a whole bunch of other Avatar characters, a whole bunch of TMNT characters and stuff like that. It was data mined? Yeah, data mined. So I, I'd I mean, match it, one, right? Just, yeah. The one with me in it. I swear that's what I've been doing. If it, it, Sometimes it will default to just... Like, if nothing's there, it'll just default to create your own lobby, which looks very similar to Lobby 1. I've heard Zim is projectile-ish? He's a trapper. He's got... His down special is a lawn gnome. His up special is just a standard, like, recovery, but, like, do damage below you thing. And then his down, his normal special is Gur. It, he'll walk around the stage, but you can control him. Pressing B again makes him stop. And if you hit him, he'll, uh, yeah, if you hit him, he'll jump. Oh, if you hit him, yeah. Okay, does he, like, blow up or anything? He blows up if I touch him. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a Magic Koopa. Yeah, except you can control it, making it better. 
You got a surprising amount of range. Oh, that's death. Yeah. It's like a... You know, I was wondering if you were going about to kill yourself there. Get in there. What do you think Aang is thinking right now? I'm hungry. What do you think is going through his head as this is happening to him? I mean, this, you know what? This is pretty normal for Zim, isn't it? It's less weird like, for I Zim. Just go on over here. I, I never expected Invader Zim to be a sortie. What is on these plates? Hair? Yeah, it's from a specific episode where oh, okay. Red, where Stimpy gets his cat hair everywhere. This this is the strangest ledge ledge I've ever seen in a Smash. Oh, like. absolutely! It, it shouldn't. It should be the widest part of the plate, not this part. Whoa. Okay. Me. My up. Oh, my up special throws something down. Yes. I did say that. Look, I'm 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 taking in a lot of information right now. <laughs> Get him. Don't worry, I did it for you. So that's that staggering is like a rock paper scissors mechanic, where if you interrupt a strong attack with like another strong attack. Yeah, it, I'm aware of that. Okay. I saw it in the trailer in the demonstration. I'm having enough trouble just getting used to the basic controls. I don't think I'll ever be able to do anything with that. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to use Y for specials. Gur, you're right. Oh! He said, Gar, you idiot! <laughs> ah! This game f kind of feels like it was rushed out the gate. Well, at least with yeah. a lot of the UI stuff that we talked yes. about. Yes. The stages actually look quite nice. They reference specific parts of their respect. Oh wow, that killed. <laughs> they reference specific parts of their own shows. The characters, for the most part, look like well made and accurate. Some of the expressions aren't great, especially on Aang. Fortunately, we um, can't see the taunt. No. The taunt looks gross. I mean. <laughs> New match. There we go. Select your brawler. Uh, what? what? Helga's in the game, but not Arnold. All right. Yeah, I mean Helga's more of a fighter than Arnold is, so. I guess that's true. Where's Harold? We gotta get him in here. Harold. Or Sid. He's a clone. We get a clone of Arnold. He's he's the Ganon to Arnold's Falcon. <laughs> Rawr. That's like the noise he made, right? That's like the one noise he made. Proto Mandy beats up fake Godzilla. <laughs> More at eleven. Three, two, one. Okay, slingshot. What's her down special? Uh, a counter. Okay. It's not a good counter. It, like, does 5% regardless. Ow. What's her up <laughs> special? Just jump. It's like okay. Korra's. It charges. 
your uh, so that slingshot sends me towards you instead of away. Okay. Interesting way to handle a projectile. Uh, very good for. Just kidding. <laughs> Very good for uh, comboing into your, up special. <laughs> into your up strong. And you just stood there. She just kind of, she just kind of hits stuff. There's, I, I'm not finding anything particularly exemplary about Helga. No, pretty bog standard, all things considered. Probably would have been better off if her sister Olga was added. Not in her mother, where her ability is to drink shakes. Ah, what was that? That looks so bizarre, just her floating in the air like that. Yeah. What if this game has a weird ripple effect, where it revives interest in Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion? That would be kind of cool. I'd, 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 I'd like to have three well-made platform fighters featuring, like, popular characters. If only I Punch Time Explosion that. was well-made. Yeah. Oh, you're saying as opposed to them making a new one that just revives interest in the old one? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I thought you were saying that they would make a new one in this situation. I, if they made a good one, that'd be neat. Yeah, sure. More Cartoon Network properties seem like they would be suited to combat than Nickelodeon ones. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed there was never a Dexter and Powerpuff crossover. They seem like they'd be good for it. Yeah, but Dexter and Powerpuff Girls didn't really spend a lot of time together. If that makes sense, like they were on the sh they were together on the network for a, a kind of small period of time. Were they? They came like, about around the same time, didn't they? No, Dexter's Lab was way earlier, I want to say. Hold on. Dexter's Lab. I remember them being 1995 like was Dexter's Lab. I remember them being like sibling shows. And the Powerpuff Girls... were 1998. So they had a three-year difference. And... Okay, so they, they, they... I guess I take that back. I, just, I guess not. I don't know. Maybe it just... Dexter maybe they probably, were hesitant. Dexter probably re-ran for quite a while. Yeah. Um, I mean, Dexter's Lab had seven seasons, which means that it ended in, like, 2002. Powerpuff had five, I want to say. That sounds about right. Select your... That would have meant that they would have ended only a year apart. Yeah. Uh, what stage? Oh, Cat Dog's house. I was like that jaw harp they had in the Cat Dog music. I forget what the creator's name was, but I know he sang the theme song. Hmm. Let me show you something real cool you can do with Mikey. Is it is it Cowabunga Radical? So he has a grapple up B. Just spin? <laughs> you can basically stall. Oh, okay. Man, imagine if Bowser could do that. Yeah. Oh, this is a tiny stage. I forgot it was on, yeah. a, on a cliff. Wow, yeah. it's been a while. Okay, well, he's got ghost plasma shot that can be caught. The other thing about uh, projectiles is that they really d wanted to discourage projectile spam, so they uh, they made it um, so that if you keep firing projectiles, they get weaker. I'm trying like, to. What, what's his down B? Just his down B. It's fly. a ghost scream. It's a ghost. Oh, I'm down Y again. Okay. Yeah, you can charge that. That's uh, similar to Zeus in PlayStation All Stars. Yes, it is. I liked his design, where everything was like, uh... He was a super heavy, tanky dude that could charge all his moves, get super armor. Ow. 
the the bottom blast zones on this stage are extremely close. So how was I doing that uh, dive? Was that his? That's his down strong. That's his down aerial strong. He will automatically go downward without you doing anything. So you just gotta make sure that you're doing it like in a safe place, right? Can I, does it go any direction or can I? No, just down. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a, re it's, I guess it's kind of a limited recovery move, but. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I just did like a, like a groin blast. Oh, that's your neutral, that's like a, your neutral strong. Neutral strong. Okay, is that what that is? I think it's like the canister he uses to hold ghosts in. I should rewatch Danny Phantom. It's free real estate. I liked mo I liked most of the things about the show, just not the Butch Hartman humor. That can get a little grating after you watch too much of it. Nope. Timmy 2010. Do I remember you? I think I do. Yeah. Okay. So I will say I watched a video about the history of Danny Phantom. And I, I will say that it, like the, so the, it did point out that like the show was pretty prolific because it was the first action show on Nickelodeon. Good job. Good job. Yeah. You did well. Thanks. <laughs> He's a phantom. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, because I killed him. <laughs> Could you just kill him and make him stronger? Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works. I am waiting for the DLC where we get the Box Ghost! We already got Powdered Toast, man. Like, we don't need any more... We need villains, we need more kids. bad guys. Bad guys. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. The Negachin! I mean, does Reptar count as a bad guy? Sure, I guess. Zim is definitely a bad guy. Uh, so skip... Showdown at Teeter Totter Gulch. That was got frame rate issues. What show is that from? Oh, oh hey Arnold. Oh. Okay. It's called Teeter Totter Gulch. Do you want to change my na your name on Twitch? Oh, uh, I could help you, but not right now. So yeah, that's Reptar's stage, the Teeter Totter Gulch one. Even it's a, it's based off of an episode where the kids all go to the playground and if they like do a western play pretend thing i guess having a one-year-old as a fighter would be a little bit bizarre well you know what's funny they found the the names of tommy and angelica in the files so they were at least considering it angelica i wouldn't feel so bad about beating up because <laughs> she's just she's satan incarnate <laughs> can i stand on those rocks or is it just all death down there uh, you can stand here, and on the nope, bus. Nope, just death. And on the van, and on this I was gonna show you where you could stand. Just got a up special, similar to the sword turtle. Leonardo. I don't know their names. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, I know their names. I don't know which is which. Which is which, right. Well, there's only two, Mikey and Leo, and you should be able to remember which is which from that. I have never watched a Ninja Turtle show. Uh, I heard some people complaining that the ones in this game are from the 3D cartoon, and not... They, the, apparently there's a new one now? They are not from the 3D cartoon. These are the 80s designs they're using. They were probably complaining that it wasn't from that. No, they, they were like they were complaining design. that it's not from the one that is currently running. That is, I guess, a um, 2D that's, show. That, that, uh, the, the current one is actually 2D. It's called Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they redesigned them all to look drastically different. So, like, Raph is like Sonic Boom Knuckles. I, go, I guess saying that name doesn't really mean anything. That's funny. You lived, like, you know, through turtle hype, right? Well, no, they were. It was an '80s cartoon, and then they were basically gone until the the 3D show brought them back to being there aware. Was the, there was the 2003 show and the 2000. When did the when did TMNT Fast Forward come out? Does anybody know? 
Because they're in the future in that one. I don't know, but believe it or not, the idea of a bunch of turtles who are ninjas in a sewer who eat pizza and say cowabunga always seemed kind of silly to me, even as a child. Well, the concept was created because they thought it was silly. Yeah, it was, uh... We almost got uh, Boogerman as a full IP. They almost put the money to that instead of Ninja Turtles. Wow, uh, glad we got Ninja Turtles. Wow. Get okay. out of here. <laughs> yeah, how about you go instead? I'm the Avatar. Look at that up there, that's Ganon. Yeah. What was that? It was a weird tumble animation. That's what you get when you when it happens in the air with the the thing with the rock, paper, scissors. Stagger. Yeah. Well isn't this just that's Ganon's Nair. I haven't even tried the her special moves. Okay, she can gob stuff. She has spin and the the twirl. Yeah. I feel like this is the weirdest show to include, Our Real Monsters. Like, it was uh, significant, yeah. it was formative at its time, but I think it's the most forgettable of the formative shows. Yeah. Whoa, buddy, you, you, don't, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. That period of time where Nick was just class geek suppo and nothing else. Oh, and Ren and Stimpy, but... You know, on the title screen, they credit Steven Hillenburg separately from, like, everybody else. Oh, yeah? I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it says SpongeBob SquarePants is owned by Steven Hillenburg. I wonder if that has something to do with his estate. Probably. They had to they had to do the same thing with uh, Tarzan in Kingdom Hearts. Some weird stipulation of the license. They had to credit the author of the novel and not just Disney. <laughs> You're telling me that Steven Hillenburg himself is coming as DLC, right? Obviously. Along with uh, Drake and Josh, iCarly. And Dan Schneider's favorite foot. Yeah, we gotta get the entire live action DLC wave. Are you afraid of the dark? Good burger. Keenan and Kel. Amanda Bynes. Jojo Siwa. Who? Uh, she was in Nicktoons racing game. Mm. Was Zoe 101 Nick? Yes. Whatever that, uh, whatever that studio that uh, made those Canadian cartoons, that Cartoon Network commissioned during the CN Real era, they could have their own fighting game. <laughs> do everything from Total Drama 16, that mermaid show. Everything new on Cartoon Network was just that for a while. Well, they were it, airing Adventure Time at that time. Adventure Time started in 2009, so it was at the very tail end of that. Okay. I'm glad but Adventure Time brought a whole new era of, like, actually good Cartoon Network shows again. All right, you're going away now. Uh, okay, I didn't get the per correct it. See, when Korra's winning animation keeps breaking on me, like, certain parts of her body won't appear, not her body, like, she, the rock won't appear and the fire won't appear during the animation, and one time I got, like, the water effect just stuck to her body. I don't think I got any effects, so that checks out. <laughs> Wait, there's supposed well, to be stuff happening? Uh, who haven't I tried? I haven't tried the Turtles, Lincoln... Or a uh, cat dog. A cat dog to try. To, to try. Uh, we're skipping traffic jam and going to ghost zone. I forgot cat was voiced by Jim Cummings for the longest time. Yeah, and dog is voiced by uh, Tom Kenny. Yeah. Big names to have. Well, now they're that big is, names. Yeah, well, now they're big. Well, Jim Cummings was fairly big because he had been voicing Pete since the '80s. Yeah, and, he, and every Disney big who? character. Yeah. He's the Disney Chris Sabat. He's in a lot. Tom Kenny kind of made himself legendary with Spongebob, so that was after Cat Dog. Yeah. But he was voicing a lot of characters before then, if I recall. Hey, look, there's Box Ghost. 
Okay, what, what are his specials? You gotta give me a chance oh, okay. just for the specials. Yeah, you're right, right, right. So you've got a, a, a bone barf. The bonerang, yep, and then you've, <laughs> the bonerang. <laughs> you've got the up special, which is just the just double hit is down special. No, hold on. So his up special is that. His down special switches your stance. Oh, so there's he's a stance fighter. Yeah. It only changes a few things. It changes your neutral special and your neutral strong. Okay. Does it? Uh, it's also an attack, right? Yes, it does also attack. All right. <laughs> that is the derpiest animation so far. Helga just sitting in the air waiting to... Waiting to go up? Yeah. Yeah. What, you... what was that? There was a... There was a YouTube video that... Butch participated in. Like, this is basically every episode of Danny Phantom. And it felt very yeah. accurate. Maybe it was the this is basically guy. Probably. Is that a, st a stolen fall? Yeah, it's a stolen fall. But it has a spike on it and it hits twice. Oh. So I'm learning half of their moves are just dog getting strangled. <laughs> yeah. Kind of ah! like Stimpy. It's kind of like Ren and Stimpy, actually, but the opposite. Was that a safe? That was a speaker. Oh. At least I think it's a speaker. It's a reference to some episode. Oh no, it's a it's a face. I don't know who it is. It's a it must be a reference to an episode. Cause the down strong is the golden hydrant, which is actually a reference to a video game. Were the dogs in a band or just a gang? I remember the yeah, tall they're... one could sing. And his name was Lube. Perfect. Was his name Lube? There was there was one of the greaser dogs was named Lube. Okay, that's a good name. There was an episode called All You Need Is Lube. Good episode. <laughs> that's the only reason I even remember that episode name because well I even heard of it. It's because it's called All You Need Is Lube. Ow. Cat dog feels like the most quintessentially Nick cartoon, like the the most stereotypical one. You think so? I normally associate Nicktoons with being a little more gross yeah. and a little more childish. I'm mostly thinking of like the the Family Guy parody of Nickelodeon. That was very cat doggy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is animal abuse. Yeah, which is in you character own for Helga, you, but you, you own property. Did Helga abuse animals? I thought she was like a sundere. Okay, I should, the American Sundere. <laughs> she really is, though. <laughs> Come to think of it, so was Cindy Vortex. Eh, yeah, kinda. Oh, no, no, not really. She didn't, her character wasn't really heavily involved with, like, feelings for Jimmy, where that was Helga's entire character. That's a good point. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's an angle. Yeah. Remember the movie where Cat Dog went to look for their parents, and at the end of the movie, they still didn't find their parents? No, they didn't find their birth parents. But I mean, that's they... like, Cat Dog was always talking about stuff like that, though, where it's like, it didn't, for them, it was like, it didn't matter, because, like, we raised you, we fed you, we treated you right. As far as we're concerned, we are your parents, you know? I wonder who animated Cat Dog and if they're still doing anything, that studio. That's a good question. Let's look it up. Cat dog. Oh no! Excuse me. Oh shoot! I accidentally quit. Uh, I got are you to still invite you. you? You can invite me. I think we're almost done with this anyway. Yeah, we've got all, almost all of the uh, like almost all the state, and then we can do some like then we can do like some real matches. 
in a real game. Now this piece of crap. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, that's the one more stage before we can do some, like, actual for real matches in this, right? Yeah. Can you join now, Ice Shard? Uh, after we do the dump, I suppose you can. But in, like, in a little bit, we're gonna switch to Smash. Oh, you wanted to do some, uh, viewer battles. Yeah. We can do it after this match. Yeah, yeah. You, so you still uh, have to, like, do you have to be friends on Switch to invite viewers? Yeah, from the, from what I had, from what I had to do, from the looks of it, yeah. Okay, so it was, it was made by Peter Hannon Productions, Cat Dog, who was the director of the show, so I think it's just his own company, kind of like Spumco. Hmm. Okay, do you want to get used to his moves? The specials, at least. He's got the, the charge spin. And, oh, yeah, that's right, he has Faint Jump. I forgot about that. He's got the back dash. From Except Symphony it goes Knight. from... Oh, okay. I, I saw comparisons being made to Me Brawler's Faint Jump. Except it goes backwards! Perfect. She's almost as big as a Ninja Turtle. Weird way that uh, levels... Uh, characters spawn in this stage. I know it's all real monsters, but this looks straight out of, uh, the Brave Little Toaster. You're right. He falls like a brick! In general, characters are pretty heavy. Cause I'm worthless! Oh. I don't expect you to just be there! <laughs> <laughs> I think that happens on this stage specifically because of the, um, because of the way the stuff comes in. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Ah ha ha! Is there like no DI in this game? No, there is, and it's pretty strong. When I was playing with Ray, we were surviving like 200 plus on most matches. I hold in and I just can't make it back. When you throw me like that! GG. It's like a Smash custom stage. That spawn point. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm the avatar. Alright. All so, right. so well, how does this I'll work? invite this guy who wants to join and we could do a couple matches. We got like twenty minutes, I think. Oh, well, maybe 15 minutes of 15, 20 minutes. We've Shouldn't been playing be this for an hour 40. Or I've been online for an hour 40. You have. I have not. Uh, so where's... That's it. Brandon is Ice Shard. And I'll invite Ray as well. What time is it in France? It's like 3 a.m.? He likes this game. What can I say? So I can fight Ray while you're fighting him. That is pretty nice. There's no downtime. The fact that you can have multiple matches in Arena is great. I just wish the UI was a little bit more navigable. Oh, there's a yeah. lobby ID. There is a lobby ID, but when I was having... When I was having uh, Ice Shard look at it, um, he couldn't find it. Also, I have like it, it set to work. private. I should set it to public, and I should increase the players to four, right? Or is it? Is that just match size? No, that's just per match, not per, not the whole lobby. Okay, well, I set it to public. Well, that'll just mean that people who we don't invite and stuff can get in. Hmm... <sighs> We 
guess we could do a match while we wait. Start button is the plus. I guess they expected people to use Joy Cons. It's plus on Joy Cons as well. Well, yeah, it's not plus on GameCube. Nope. Does she just throws? Th what is that? It's a little she green just object. She kind of jabbed out her microphone. Oh, okay. That's a special move. Yeah, it charges. I don't know how the charge function works, but you get little, like, bits of, uh... Dang it. She do got that reach. I like that Nair. She's got insane reach. Like, all the TMNT characters are pretty strong. Imagine characters who actually have combat in their original show are good in a fighting game. Yeah. Get that vaguely snakish up special. Kind of a weird move to spike the camera thing. Perfect. Yeah, no, the camera, I mean, it aims downwards, so. Oh, that's like Prana Plant's gas, it just deals damage? Yeah. But it can be destroyed. Dang it. This can't be cheap. Like, she's she's using her, her sound equipment for combat. <laughs> I thought you were talking about her moveset, and I'm like, no, it can't be. As a voice actor, I would call this a very bad idea. So it's the same as in, as in Smash. The second the ledge re-grab, you yeah. lose the invulnerability. Oh, the push! Yeah. Alright, 0 to 85. Never mind! Look at me go. They should have the hats on. Why are those so, why are they so happy and joyful? Well Stimpy's normally like that. That's true. Uh, you can go with him, Brandon. But then it won't be on stream. I can I can spectate. Oh, that's true. So you can even create matches with different rules within the same arena. Yes, you can. Spang Rob. Oh, actually, it's Zim. I don't think I, I didn't try SpongeBob proper. I just went went to the other characters. 
Who wants to play as SpongeBob in a Nicktoons fighting game? It's like playing Nobody. as Mario. Yeah, right? Nobody wants to play as Mario. No offense, Dragonite. His, his hair is smiling. Happier than me. He's, he's got his dukes up. He's ready to go. He is. Okay, so he's got water gun. Does that just, like, deal deal damage? Yeah. It just deals his damage. It used to be an infinite. <laughs> they had to nerf it before the game came out. He's got a little top that just is a projectile. And he's got... Just a jump. Is that chargeable? No. no, but it does deal damage. Oh yeah, you ledge hogged. I did it! <laughs> oh, is that a thing? <laughs> yep, you can ledge hog. You almost did it to me earlier, but I didn't want you to pick up on it, so you didn't do it again. <laughs> oh, I would've. I remember I made a uh, custom stage in Ultimate using cannons that resumed it let you ledge hog in Ultimate, like you can uh, in Melee. Uh-huh. That was totally intentional, by the way. Definitely <laughs> meant to do that. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're here to stop the Urken invasion. Lincoln Loud, making it proud. Speaking of which, Penny Proud for the Disney fighter. Now screw Today. that, Oscar proud. No, we need Oscar proud. Oscar Today. is very important. All the best Today. cartoon characters are dads. <laughs> I need to be in a fighting game, True Day. <laughs> he can throw proud snacks. That's he all of his attacks. Waffles. Timmy, T Mr. <laughs> Mr. Turner versus Hugh Neutron versus Oscar proud. He's respecting your one. privacy, but also asserting his authority as your father by attacking you. <laughs> All right, Jimbo. The ducks are gonna kill you at twenty percent. Who'd be the other dad? We need one more dad. Could be Professor Membrane. Who? He sucks. Uh, Dib's dad. Oh yeah. Except every episode was always like, "Dad, I found indisputable proof of aliens," and then he was like, "Shut up, son. I'm doing science." That's basically the gist of it, until Enter the Florpus, when he is convinced that the entire alien thing was a hallucination. Do you ship... do you ship Zim and uh, Dib? No. <laughs> I, I wasn't actually I much a fan of uh, Invader Zim. Mm. Blasphemy, I know. It was all right. I found it kind of depressing as a kid, though. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a happy show. No. No, it wasn't. I disconnected from the game. Oh, do you need another invite? No, I'm still here. There you go. Hey, hold on. It's my turn. Oh, to fight Brandon? Yeah. I can uh, spectate. We're going top. And we're gonna go to Harmonic Convergence. This is my Toph fan fiction, where she is the avatar, and she has to stop an alien invasion. Also, Vatu is there. Was there an episode of Avatar that had to deal with aliens? I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Like no. whether or not they existed. Oh. You'd, you'd be surprised if there was if there was not an like, alien episode. I'm, like somebody thought there was aliens that existed or something, but then they realized it wasn't. You know, I do, I can't remember anything like that. No, I don't think aliens ever came up because I don't think they have a, a concept of space in in Avatar. Uh -huh. It's too early for that. The well, world is still like, flat as far as they know. And then in Korra, they have cars, and that's like in like what less than a hundred years or something. Yeah.
Wow. I mean, I don't know what Asia in 1800 was like. Well, it's not 1800. It's more like it's more like modern times because they have like skyscrapers. Well, I know. A hundred years before the invention of cars would be around 1800. Yeah. Granted, that's the entire Avatar world as opposed to just a part of it. Just the time Link fought aliens was weird enough. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was confusing it with that. I would like to have that to have happened in uh, oh, Ocarina geez. while Ganon was in power. Just aliens invade. And then Ganon would have to deal with that. No, he wouldn't have that responsibility in Terminator, though. He just mans a fishing hole there. Perfect. Oh, Gravity Falls is Disney. Yes, it is. It's quite a substantial library were they to decide to do this with Disney Channel. Yeah, but I wonder how much Disney would want to see them fight each other. Oh man, if they did Jake Long, do you think it would be the original or season, like, two? Is there, like, a remake or something? They redesigned them halfway in between seasons. Oh, I guess he's done. He left oh, the... He uh, left the... Alright, sure. Uh, one more match and then we can switch to Smash. Alright. Uh, who haven't I tried? I haven't tried Mikey. And I, I'll give SpongeBob a real shot. Yeah, Spun Spang Rob. Sorry, Mikey. You're just not that cool. <laughs> but the theme song. He says we're really hip. Oh. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> At least in the '80s theme song. Now it's got like a rap break. Rooftop Rumble looks like uh, looks like the Sly Cooper. Rooftop. Yeah, you're kind of right. Although, when you go into it, it's there's Foot Clan members and everything is like purple, like 80s vaporwave purple. It's fine if you play that offline, there's no frame rate issues there, but online you get some, and I don't really know what it is about that stage. Three, two, one. Okay, I know he's got bubble. He's got bubble and he's got bite. Which. I guess people are theorizing is from the episode where he pretended to be stupid, right? Uh, possibly. It's kind of vague if it's from anything. It's just a bite. All his other moves are references, though. Yeah. Well, it's because there's so much to pull from. Yeah. <clears throat> Water is super effective on ground. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's her uh, down strong, right? Yeah. I use it, like, all the time. You ever play PlayStation All-Stars? Uh, yes. It's one of the main reasons I actually wanted a PlayStation, was to finally get around to playing that. I like how, I like how silly Nathan Drake looked. He was one of my favorite characters to play as, just because he had, like, the attempt at realism in all his animations. Yeah. Which just really stuck out compared to all the superhero characters. I, li I like Spang. Spang is straightforward. As he should be. That runs out eventually, doesn't it? Ten seconds. Ah. Oh.
Is that one of her moves, is holding up the belt? It's a reference to an episode. I know it's a reference, it's just, I would expect that to be a taunt, not a move. Yeah, no, it's a move. At what point do we get the, uh, do we get Link Syndrome and Old Toph gets added to the game? No ah! idea. Ha <laughs> ha! And then if they want a quick filler character, they add Police Toff, which is just a slower, heavier version of the same moveset. I hate that! Ha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, GG's got him. <laughs> Not a great angle for the net. No. I guess that uh, balances the disjoint a little bit. He doesn't snap to ledge, I notice, with his up special. You don't, it's, it's like melee. Nobody snaps to ledge until they start falling. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was very close to being it. What? You're invulnerable? <laughs> no, you, you hit the rock. Okay. Ah, uh, there it is. That doesn't look like it should have killed if you DI'd in, is the thing. I don't know. Like, the blast it, zones are deceptively close, I guess. Alright, so now for Smash. Yeah, Time we'll, uh, Smash. swap over games. Switch gears. Yeah. Put up my end screen. Don't go anywhere, though. Because I'll be right back. And Nick's not going anywhere, he's just gonna change games.